I'm Miranda Valentine, editor of the lifestyle blog Everything Sounds Better in French, and today I'm going to show you how to make Alton Brown's V Baked Potato. He has a really interesting way of baking a potato, and I'm very, very excited to try it out. So it's really simple. All we need is one um, clean, scrubbed, russet baking potato. So I've got that here. Um, canola oil, I have about two tablespoons. You just need enough to lightly coat the potato. And then some kosher salt, this is to taste. Um, and a fork and a bowl. So I have my oven in the back um, heating right now at 350 degrees, so it's gonna be all set to go. And I'm going to begin, before I do anything, by piercing this little potato um, eight to 10 times deeply. Um, Alton instructs that we do it eight to 10 times all over. So just all over the potato. Make sure you sink your tines right in there and just give it some good pierces because we don't want the baked potato to explode, which is what will happen if this team has no way to escape. So just keep going until you've done that eight to 10 times. Now we're gonna get our bowl, pour the canola oil in there, drop your potato in, and just kind of spin it around. You just wanna lightly coat it. Do -do 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 -do. And definitely have a paper towel on hand for your fingers. Now after that, just sprinkle, again this is to taste, but definitely kosher salt. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. And here comes the interesting part. You'll notice that I'm not using any tin foil. I have no tin foil. Because Alton Brown instructs that you actually put this directly on your oven rack. Um, so it will cook without any tin foil. It won't sit on a baking sheet. However, you will place a baking sheet underneath it, so on the rack underneath, so that any drippings, which is bound to happen, um, any drippings will be caught and not start any sort of grease fire in your oven. We always want to avoid that. So now we're going to put this directly on the rack with a baking sheet on the rack underneath it and let it cook for about one hour until soft and can be pierced easily with a fork. So we're gonna stick it in the oven, let it cook for one hour, and we'll be back and show you how to open it with Alton's special method. Okay, so it's been an hour and the baked potato has been baking at 350 degrees. It's nice and soft and ready to go. Now I've had it out for just a few minutes so I'm not going to burn my hands because Alton Brown also has a really specific way of opening the baked potato. Um, not just slicing it open, letting it go. What we're going to do, I'm going to use this you know, little paper towel so I don't burn my fingers, is make a line. So using your fork, make sort of like an incision all in one line down the middle. So make sure we get nice and deep in there. And then pushing the two edges together. So we're gonna push our two edges towards the middle and just boop, it cracks open just like that. Perfect, there we go, beautiful, ready to go. Either eat as is or add in your favorite toppings. So easy to do, kind of a neat little twist on a classic. That's Alton Brown's The Baked Potato. Thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you wanna learn how to make, send me an email at request at mahalo.com. And don't forget to check out our other great videos.